What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, may you test the spirits, a.k.a. take the words and visuals back to prayer with God, as there are many Decepticons running around in these end times sent from the enemy, had a strong, close, and personal relationship with God. Good, great, and awesome. All right, everybody, November 4th, 2024, on a good old Monday, grouping of words the Lord had given me over the course of days. And in a community post, I said that I will give clarification if need be and just reread these, putting this into one big message. And then one warning in there as well. So let's just jump right into it. Two days ago, the Lord stated this, the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the just. That is true. There are many that have the wrong idea for I am also a provider. It is your faith that grants you access, your faith in your father, not in your finances, not in man. So the Lord is just saying straightforward, you know, many people have the wrong idea about this whole thing of wealth of the wicked stored up for the righteous. Many people are trusting more in their finances than the provider himself. You know, it's a big difference. And even in what man is telling them over what he's trying to tell them. So pretty straightforward there. Many of my children over the course of time have struggled to have faith in me. Real love and faith in me that my people must grow. The disciples left to follow the son of man into uncertainty. Comfortability was not always a factor, my children. I have seen the length of time. For that length of time, many still will not follow my instructions. The instructions that require your hearts to change course. Pretty straightforward. God is repetitive about what he wants and he'll tell you the same thing. But many hear what they want to hear, right? When things are not comfortable, that's where people start questioning God and faith begins to shake him. So God has been testing greatly the faith of his children, which is needed to be strengthened because over the course of time, that's where all of his children have really struggled. The Red Sea, they thought they were going to die there. They thought they were going to die again due to <laughs> hunger. You know, they were complaining. Die of thirst and hunger. Complaining. Disbelief. Jesus tried to teach the twelve real faith, strengthened faith that they struggled with. And today people are doing the same thing. So over the course of time, many have struggled with faith. He says, continuing. In the past, my people wanted a king, leader. That was not me. Today, many acknowledge me as their savior with their mouths. Their hearts and focus are far from me. It is a mixture of voices that have led my people astray and into misunderstanding. What I need is for my people to submit to me fully. There are cries from nations all over the earth. When I pull many into the unknown, they run from me or want their own way due to difficult situations. Another straightforward message. Listening to too many people can cause confusion. And he warned about that months and months in advance. Many are crying out to him, but then when he answers them and pulls them, you know, they don't want to stay because it gets too rough. They don't have control no more. So straightforward he continues with this message saying i will share one thing from my heart the answer is to surrender to me your nations your leaders your children my people do not know how to step aside many want the truth to prevail and that i have not turned a blind eye to nothing will prevail unless i allow it in time i have seen blame on many due to a result of leadership it is not a vote that matters. It is whether or not you accept truth. So what he's saying is he's seen in time where a result has come and people are casting blame on brothers and sisters in Christ when it's God's plan. And that's what he's saying. And that's not right. He's seen that already. The reason behind wicked leadership is due to the lack of acceptance of truth. 
of me. It is my grace and mercy that any potential leader still breathes. This incoming shake is not just for the world. It is also for my children to learn to fully surrender to their father as it is not your will. So God is looking at the worldly. Okay. Who accepts truth and who doesn't even in the church. And that's what this is all about. Let's move on to another message. So this is what the Lord had given me. I believe last night has been so many messages. So he says this, remember my children, I have seen time and everything in it. I am all knowing. I have seen both ways of a person's life. The enemy's plan versus my way. That is why I show you dreams or visions. You have seen a potential result in time. It is intercession slash prayer that can assist you to avoid such an event. So he's saying as a whole, when he shows you something and asks you to intercede for it, he's already seen that result in time. He's seen Satan's way in a person's life and them moving in that way. And he's also seen people moving in his way. He's all knowing. He's seen all time. So when you see something, you're seeing through the eyes of the father what he's giving you to the degree he's allowing you to see it, if that makes sense. God will guide you with his eyes. He will show you things that you do not know, great and mighty things. As scripture tells us, but he will show you to the degree you can handle it too. So, yeah, he's just kind of saying he's seen time. He says, I have told you, it is about who accepts truth and who does not. Are all things being surrendered to your father? In the end, it is truth that shall be revealed. The worldly corruption is in plain sight. Many are aware of the corruption of the worldly systems, my children. It is wise to surrender all things to me. That includes your leadership, what you call an election. And he had me put it in those quotes. I am watching the actions of many. Stand back and allow the eyes of your father to guide you. Stand back and allow my plans to unfold for you. And I just put at the bottom time equals period of time because people may not understand. Okay. And this last post here, I'm going to actually start off with this last piece and then go into the warning dream. So what God has been trying to get people to understand, he has been watching the world and the church. Things are conditional with the Father unless they are written in the Word. Come Tuesday or any day, do not have expectations besides truth being revealed as time goes on, because that's just what's going to happen. No matter if God allows fraud, Trump, or no election at all, you need to stay seeking the Lord. This all comes down to how to wake people up in a drastic way. God has told us that it is all about how people are responding to unrighteousness. Do they accept it or are they beginning to reject it? God always moves according to people's actions. Like he stated earlier, he has seen all time. That means he has seen all results according to how people move. This is bigger than what we are thinking as a person, as people. As a nation, everyone needs to let go and let God in all their ways. As the church, we need to let go and let God. Disappointment only comes when you set the standards God never told you. God also wanted to remind regarding the prophetic space, okay? It is going to get a bit messy because not all messages come from God. So it's going to be some heat with that space. Don't get wrapped up into confusion. Stay focused on the secret place with God. When it comes to blessings, do not set expectations. Just let God operate the way God operates before you get disappointed. Just sit with the Lord and have a whatever God wants attitude. And that's not what people are doing. It's what you want. It makes life a whole lot easier to just be peaceful and let God move. If he specifically needs us for something, he will surely let us know. I've been feeling calm, but aware that something big is getting ready to start or come. And his words in this post 
my children, do not get consumed with the media or social media because people do this around times like this. Allow your father to consume your time. You shall get much clarity and understanding. Many of you need to write what I am giving you more. So take serious what he's giving you. There's a lot of people that in their mind or because they listen to the wrong people think if that person gets into leadership, it's over. I've seen that a lot. Judgment's coming and we're doomed. And it's like, no. As a child of God and doing what I'm supposed to be doing with the Lord, it doesn't matter who was in leadership and it never has. That doesn't stop God's plan in your life. At all. And it doesn't make any sense. Daniel served God under a wicked leadership. You understand? And it was Daniel that helped plant the seed to King Nebuchadnezzar. You know, God using Daniel to do so. And he actually got humbled greatly. Pharaoh went face to face with Moses. Moses being with God and Aaron. Pharaoh saw God was real, but he walked into his own demise. That didn't stop the Israelites from being free. So these people that are telling you we're going to face, go through this and that. We in the world are not in one category. There is no we. We are two separate categories. That's fear. They got to wake up. If you are already woken up, you need to move out the way and let God move. We can intercede and we can pray. Like he said, that election, he's watching who's accepting unrighteousness and who's rejecting it. It's that simple. That extra stuff, people are conditioning y'all to think that man is supposed to either number one, save you, lead you. God is our leader. And this country needs to learn how to submit because it's a very prideful country. They don't want to let go of things. The church doesn't want to let go of control of things. All God wants is for people to submit to him and go, you got this, Father. I give it all to you. You are going to make the right decisions in my life. But they don't know how to do that. Big problem even in the church. So I'm going to leave it at that. All right. It doesn't matter what happens tomorrow or any day. Your relationship with God does not correlate with a worldly system. And that is something people need to understand, right? All right. November 2nd, 2024. So I had a dream that I was in the Middle East walking around and there were people that looked around my age, two guys around my age. And next thing you know, this strange storm that wasn't normal hit. It was like rocks were falling from the sky. It, the sky had a certain color, like a brownish color. It was crazy. Like sand had been all up in the air, the dust. And these rocks were falling in unpredictable places. And it was it was some it was just the scenery. And the people's faces, they didn't know where it was falling from. And just it gave me a big insight on how they live and just to pray for the people all over there because they don't know what's going to happen tomorrow or the next day. You know, if their home going to be destroyed, if their life is going to be threatened. Very impactful dream. But then it was a point in the dream where it was a reporter talking to me and it's like the Lord had given me a vision and dream that this storm was orchestrated and much destruction came because it was orchestrated. So like usually orchestration means an attack. And he's really been highlighting the Middle East like something big that's not your everyday attack. I, it's something I'm just praying for them. Greatly praying for them because the people don't know what's happening. They don't from a spiritual aspect, but just reading off the interpretation, much destruction coming to the Middle East and the dream. Many had no idea where the rocks were coming from. It was definitely a glimpse of how people have to watch out every single day 
it is important to pray for all. A part of the shakening could also include a severe attack over there. And then this last part to end off in a great note. I then in this same dream saw a bunch of rain. It was very, not heavy, but it came down kind of medium, intermediate. And then all of a sudden, as it was doing that, rainbows were everywhere. I mean, you could see the rainbows in the atmosphere. There was one after the other. Everybody was like, wow, it's over here. It's over there. It's over there. So many. And God put a small little lightning strike next to the rainbow just to put his signature on it. And it was a beautiful scene. So just interpreting that, this was God's way of just showing his signature in the dream to me, as he always does in some way, and reminding of his promises. Rainbows were all over the sky in multiple places and even in the atmosphere. And it was raining a lot, but not too hard. Intermediate. So pretty cool, a lot to unpack. <laughs> and y'all know the drill. If you have a problem with this message, call 1-800-ANGEL-OF-DAYS. Get you a lot of faith, get you some sense that's not always common. Seek the Lord and he will greatly show you great things that you do not know. Mighty things that you may not know in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the way he wants to. Jeremiah 33, 3. And remember, nobody gets away with anything in this world because they messing with the G-O-D, the one and only God, the Father, and they better know it and they soon will understand it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. But that is all. Peace and blessings. And I will catch y'all in the next one.